So it is about 12.44. Um, yeah, I'm about to... Okay, I'm trying to get into a nighttime routine um, where I don't watch Netflix and sleep. So I try to do a little bit of French on Duolingo because I'm trying to learn French and then read a chapter of a book. I don't know about the chapter of the book, but I'll read something um, before I sleep. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a vlog up because I'm determined to honor my commitment of doing a weekly vlog and I wanted to edit something that I haven't got around to. But also just because, yeah, I just haven't been in the best place. Um, and yeah, I guess we could just chat a little bit about that really. Um, yeah, I, I really wrestle with constantly feeling like I'm not enough and I'm not doing enough. Um, and my, my friend asked me how she can pray for me today and I believe my, well, there's a huge shadow. Um, I'm gonna do this again. Nope, keep going. All right. <laughs> um, my prayer point was just like, oh, I just want to be brave and just own whatever path God is calling me and um, let go of not even just what people expect me to be or how my life should look, but especially me, um, my ideals, um, and just own the path God has called me to. Um, so yeah, it's just been a week of just, I don't know, maybe it's also hormonal, um, not feeling myself, not feeling cute, feeling really heavy, feeling like one of the things that I, I, I really want this year is to walk away being really proud of myself, not necessarily concerned with how anyone feels towards me, but me feeling proud of myself. Like, I just really want to be really... A person of integrity just to my own self like I want to say things and honor my word I feel like I do a pretty decent job in terms of honoring my commitments to other people and obligations to other people but when it gets to myself you know like hey we're gonna wake up early we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna not eat this we're gonna not call this person whatever it is I don't feel like I do a good job of honoring myself and I think it has to do a lot part of how I see myself and um, how I value myself and and the process of trying to find a counsellor and trying to unpack all of that and where that comes from and um, not just trying to just make, you know, behavioural changes but really trying to get into the root of stuff and go deeper. So, yeah, that's a lot of just what's happening in my space. Um, this is what's on my bedside. I don't know if I'm showing you this chocolate. Should I be in chocolate now? Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's been a real battle. Um, I don't think I've got into this on this channel yet, but I have a chronic condition called hydronitis suppurativa, and I definitely have a different video on that. And one of the really fruitful ways people have dealt with it is changing their diet. And that's really, really hard because food is such a comfort and a source of pleasure and um so much more um yeah and so it's been really hard navigating that and so i think a week like this when you're not feeling too great you just want to eat your feelings away um so yeah that's a little bit about where i'm at um yeah how are you let me know in the comments how's your week looking like How's it been? Um, yeah, how are you can sometimes feel like a super intimidating large question. So um, I, I sometimes get really overwhelmed when someone asks that. So I've been doing this thing lately where I just close my eyes and just whatever feelings come, I don't overthink it, I just write it down. Even if I draw a blank, even I write that, that's blank, that's numb. Um, and just unpack and sit with that. So maybe you can give that a try.